Good morning and praise the Lord. How is your Tuesday? It's a thriving Tuesday, or what do we say? Karibu sana to our, our morning devotion. My name is Ed and Zia. And this morning I want us to share on finding rest in God. I don't know if you people feel like life in our peleka mbio, ama ni peleka mbio, whichever it is. We live in a world that can actually get so crazy, that is so fast paced and so stressful. And sometimes you even wake up and go to work, but you know, and you come back from work and before you have even rested, the night is over and the following morning you're out in the hustle and bustle of whatever it is that that you that you do. And sometimes you even get overwhelmed and burdened and discouraged. And sometimes you are working, but we feel like our jobs are a burden. And we are asking for ourselves, when will I get time to rest? But this morning, Jesus is making an invitation for you that it's actually possible to work from a place of rest. Matthew 11, 28, Jesus says that, uh, 28 to 30, I'm reading from the NIV version. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and I will find rest for your souls. Again, Psalms 4 8 reminds us that in peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. And this is the invitation that Jesus is making to us this morning. It is so comforting, yet still so powerful. And he is calling us to, you know, uh, offload our weariness and offload our burdens um, to him and even work from a point of rest. As you go about the things that you're running up and down with, just doing it from a point of rest, knowing that our Savior cares um, cares about us and this includes you know whatever weight it is that you're just carrying some people are even carrying weight from from parental pains carrying weight of traumas carrying the weight of uh, marital issues and different sources of pain that you're just walking around with because we live in a world that is full of hurting people even in that christ is reminding you this morning that you can find rest in him so how do we find rest in in god finding rest in him means um just taking your time to be in his presence taking your time to pray to read his word fellowship with him and even sometimes just sit in silence it sounds awkward but that is still fellowshipping and finding rest in god but even in the chaotic world that we are in we can still find rest in our God. Observing the Sabbath day, just one day out of the seven days that God has given us, this is another way of finding rest in God. You can actually t- just take a day, just one day in your schedule. Be in the presence of God, fellowship with other believers, and take time and unwind, reflect on how is your body, your soul, your mind, and your spirit doing. This is still a way of finding rest, even as you strategize for the next step, uh, for the next steps of your life or coming weeks of your life, other than just keep on uh, keeping on running each and every time. Exodus 20 verse 8 to 10 reminds us, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh is a Sabbath day. Uh, is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. So it is very important for us to just take regular time to recharge, to reflect, and get to hear what does the Lord have to say in this journey. So today, even as you go about your businesses, I pray that in whatever you will do, you're going to do it from a point of rest and resting in God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the invitation to rest. We thank you because you have created the rhythm of work and rest for our own well-being. And Lord, we ask you that you enable us that as we go about the things of the world and the things that you have called us into as we serve in those different spaces, the Lord, we will just not do it the natural way, but we will do it the godly way, which is finding rest in you. So Lord, help us embrace rest because rest is godly. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, I take this opportunity to invite you to church. This is Praise Chapel Mombasa. 
We are located along Madenge Road, opposite Aga Khan General Madenge Road, opposite Aga Khan Hospital. And we have two services on Sunday. We have the sunrise service that starts at 6.30 to 9.30 a.m. And we have the mid-morning service that starts at 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Karibu sana. I look forward to seeing you in church. I look forward to fellowshipping with you. And until next Tuesday, shalom. <laughs>